Hi everyone, my name is Abdrahman and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make bulk transfers right from the Paystack dashboard. To get started, first we log into the Paystack dashboard. Next, you come to the menu panel here and click on transfers. When you do, you see a list of all your past transfers and to make a new one, click on new transfer here and then select the bulk upload option. Next, you get a message telling you that to use this feature, first you need to turn off transfer OTP confirmation. So we simply click here to do that. Next, you come to transfer confirmation here and then go ahead to click on disable. When you do, you get a pop-up asking for your one-time password. Now at this point, Paystack sends a one-time password to the business phone number associated with your Paystack account. To check, you can simply go to the business, to the Paystack dashboard, go to settings here, and under the business tab, you check here for your business phone number. So one, check to see that the number is correct and that you have access to it. So now let's go back to the Paystack dashboard and enter in the OTP that has been sent to my phone. In this case, it is 485. 401. Then yes, click on complete to complete that. And here you have a pop up telling me that the transfer OTP has been successfully disabled. So let's go back to transfers and then new transfer, select the bulk upload option. And then we get to this point. Now, at this point here, we're expected to upload a CSV, which is short for comma separated values. It's the file type which spreadsheet applications like Excel, Google Sheets, ETC Read. So first, you can click on Sample CSV here to download a sample spreadsheet that shows you what the acceptable format looks like. Now, when you click on Choose File here, what you should upload is a spreadsheet that looks like this. So first, you have a column for transfer amount, which is the amount which you want to transfer to each recipient, another column for transfer notes, transfer reference, recipient code, bank log, account number, account name, and then the recipient's email addresses. Now, the columns in blue here, transfer amount, bank log, and account number, are columns for which you must provide information for, while the other columns here, which read optional, optional, and this one's here, optional, you, you, it's not required that you enter a recipient information for the bulk transfer to work. So what this means is that if I remove this transfer node, for instance, if I delete it, the bulk transfer will still work if I upload the same spreadsheet. But if I remove the transfer amount for one of the recipients, for instance, the bulk transfer is not going to work. So one other thing to note is that the header of the spreadsheet, the header here which contains transfer amount, transfer notes, and all the other information here, has to be exactly this way when you're creating your spreadsheet. So you may choose to not enter in some information for some of the columns, but you do have to have the headers in your spreadsheet. So let's go back to the Paystack dashboard now, where I'm going to show you how to get your bank slug. So you come over here again to your Paystack dashboard, and then you come here and click on click here to find a bank code. So click on it, and then come here to select a bank by clicking on this drop down and then look for one of the banks that you are making a transfer, uh, one of the banks that you are making a transfer to. So when you find the bank that you're looking for, simply check the corresponding text in bold here, and then select it, copy it, and then enter it into your spreadsheet under the bank log. So when you find a bank that you want to make a transfer to, you simply select the text in bold next to it, enter it under the bank log column here, and then you can then go ahead to make your transfer. So now let's select a CSV file to upload. So let's click on choose file, select this file here, which is what I want to upload. When you do, you see a highlight of all the information contained in the spreadsheet which I just uploaded. So when you're satisfied with what you have, you simply click on start bulk transfer, and here you get your response, which is transfer successful, transfer successful. Now, in this case, I made a bulk transfer to just two unique bank accounts, but in your case, you can make bulk transfers to as many as hundreds of unique bank accounts or even thousands of unique bank accounts. 
So thanks for staying with me. This is everything you need to know on how to make a bulk transfer right from your Paystack dashboard. Thank you.